So if you're not following this page, please do so now. I'm about to rant. I think you guys are picking up when I'm wearing a Batman shirt. Have my nice little cup of water. But I'm in a rant mode. There's something that's frustrating me. Today, my frustration is because I put up a simple post of Batman, okay? And I'm gonna put it up on the screen. Here we have Batman. Goku's in the car. And he's like, hey, you wanna spar? It's supposed to be funny. You know, Batman and Goku, it's hopeless for Batman. I'm a Batman fan, look in my room, okay? So it might be a little blurred out because of the video. I'm a Batman fan, I'm a Vegeta fan, I'm a Madara fan, I'm a Seto Kaiba fan. I think you're starting to get an idea of the kind of characters I like. Anyways, so someone said uh, in a comment, well, check it out, because I'm paraphrasing, I'm not actually reading it. I should read it. I'm actually gonna pull it up, I'm gonna read it, okay? Because I don't wanna lie to you guys. Someone says, Batman beats Superman. Okay, that is true. <laughs> you guys are gonna get at me, but it's true. He beats him with Kryptonite and Lois Lane. Superman's weakness is Kryptonite. Anyways, Batman beats Superman. Superman beats Goku, debatable, but that's okay. Hence, Batman can beat Goku. So in case you guys missed it, what's happening is Batman in the comics can beat Superman because of his usage of kryptonite, knowing uh, Superman for years and basically just knowing you know his weaknesses. Superman has been argued based on his feats to have the ability to beat Goku. That is a legitimate argument whether you want to agree on it or not. So because Batman can beat the man who can beat Goku, Batman can beat Goku. I wouldn't think I'd have to explain why we have to not think of this, okay? So, for starters, what is Goku's weakness, okay? Superman's weakness is kryptonite and magic. If he fights Goku, Goku is not going to use his weakness against him. He's not, he doesn't know of it. It's not going to be an element of, of, of the battle. It's going to be about brute strength, speed, martial arts, etc. That's how it's going to be, okay? Goku's weakness is pretty much that he, 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 he lowers his guard, pretty much, is Goku's weakness. I mean, do, I mean, I guess there's a possibility of Batman winning this if Goku can lower his guard just enough. We've seen random ray beams from, you know, one of Frieza's soldiers take out Goku when his guard is low enough. But when you think about that, Goku was taken out by a ray gun from an intergalactic warrior. So this is not your regular ray gun. Although Batman fights aliens using his bat batarangs and whatnot. So I guess Batman would have some type of weapon that is strong enough to take out Goku if he wasn't paying attention. And now, as I really ramp this out, there is a possibility that Batman can beat Goku because Goku's an idiot. He doesn't fight anyone at full power if he doesn't have to. And fighting Batman uh, with Batman's level of martial arts, if Goku lowers his power level really to draw up that battle and Batman can get him before he powers up or catch him off guard, he can actually pull this off. This was supposed to be a rant of frustration, but guys, <laughs> there is a legitimate argument for how Batman, the human being, can beat Goku. So, if I am sounding crazy, go ahead and let me know what's your argument. Uh, your boy Rock Lee out. If you're not following this page already, please go ahead and do so, but Goku could beat Saitama, no cap.